Hi everybody, it's Lynette Chandler from Tech Based Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to delete a WordPress site. Now my general rule of thumb is if you installed it using a tool like uh, Fantastico, Soft Delicious, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce that, or within cPanel's uh, script installer, then you use that because they all have an easy delete button. Okay. If for whatever reason that you do not know how the site was installed originally or you know that it was manually installed, this is how you would do it in cPanel. So first thing I need to do of course is to log into my account here. And once I'm in the account, I'm going to go ahead and click on File Manager. What I'm going to do here is going to find the database name and username that is being used for the particular site that I want to delete, the particular WordPress. Now I've got WordPress in many different folders on this particular site because it is a teaching site, but what I want to delete is this folder right here. There is a WordPress site insi inside this folder. So I'm going to open that up. Now if you have your WordPress installed in the main public HTML folder, like I also do here, then what you need to do is go look for the wp-config file. So um, I'm going to open that. There's another wp-config here. And then I'm going to click on Code Editor. Now it's going to tell me a couple things here. It's going to tell me the database name and a database user. That's the information that I need so that I do not delete the wrong database because I've got other uh, WordPress and other scripts installed on this site. So I want to make sure that I select the right one. So let me jump back to the cPanel tab here and look for my SQL databases. Now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink the user from the database. So the database name is this one, LK20, which is this one, and it has this user. I'm going to do a quick look on this list and it tells me that this user is not in any other uh, databases here, So, which means I can unlink it from here and I can also delete this user. If I come down here, see this SC, okay, let me just make sure that it's the correct user. Okay, great. So I can remove this user safely. Now there is no undo when it comes to cPanel deletion. So if you have other scripts and uh, software installed on your website, be very sure to back up your site first. Now that I've got rid of the user, I can safely delete the database. And that's it. So now my database is gone. I simply need to get rid of the files. I'm close out the code editor and I need to remove the files. Because this WordPress site is installed in a folder, that's easy. I just move up one level and delete the entire folder. And that's it. My WordPress site is gone and I'm ready to start afresh. Now if your WordPress site is in the main public HTML folder, as I also have on here, then what you need to do is you need to manually select all the folders and files that have the wp-prefix. So there's one and then you hold down your control key or your command key if you're on a Mac and select all that. Um, I also need the index because the index is part of WordPress and then all the WP uh, prefix files like that. Okay. All of those and also XML RPC because I happen to know that it's part of WordPress. Alright, so I've got all of that and then I just click delete. Right? Of course I'm not doing it here because this is one of the sites that I want to keep. But 
that's it. Super easy and super simple, and I hope that helped you out.